with is how to insert formula in Microsoft Excel. Let's assume we are using an organization as a reference. Let's assume the organization we are using, it is their salary we are trying to plan. Okay, how will we do minus and plus at the same time? using the formula all right the first thing we are going to do here we need to enter the details on how the salary structure is let's start with for instance we have basic salary bs and then the next thing again we have furniture allowance fa the next thing we have let's say transport tp and then the next thing we have tax the next thing again we have cooperative okay all right your cooperative may be a pension or any other form. Then here we need to put the name of the staff in that organization. Let's assume the first person here we have John. The next person we have Musa. The next person here, let's say we have Aisha. The next person here, let's say we have Ingozi. Ingozi. The next person here, let's say we have Moses. Okay. All right. Musa and Moses are all the same, but let's use that as name references all right so here at the top here we need to write name of staffs okay name of staff all right you can see the space cannot carry it so what we are going to do to expand this space we need to come up here and click on the first box that's the first cell and then we come by the sides we go up a bit when it shows dark plus okay dark plus then we drag it towards our right hand side where we want to expand it towards to okay when the space is enough we release our hand and you can see now name of staff is appearing clearly so here we need to put some information the basic salary should be higher than any other stuff we are putting let's be using numbers from 80 and 90 okay 80 something and 90 something 87 here and then here 80 84 let's say here is 83 then for the furniture allowance let's say here is 34 here is 23 here is 19 here is 40 okay and then here let's say 45 then from there again we come to tp that's the transport let's assume it's 23 let's say here is 17 here is 28 here is 56 here is 45 this is just an assumption okay so we are just assuming the salary all right so here let's assume here for the task of this person here is 20 here is 19 let's say here is 17 here is 18 okay okay here is 18 okay all right here is 18 and then the next number again let's say here we have 19 all right then here the next number again let's say we are having 12 here and then here for the cooperative let's assume here is 19 or let's assume 23 the next one 25 next one let's say 34 the next one 38 the next one the next one is let's assume 40 here all right so what we are going to do we are to find the total of what each person will have at the end of the month okay so let's say here is the total all right so after having the total then this is where we are going to put the formula under the total immediately so in this case you know that for the for the basic salary, furniture allowance, transport, they are all addition. But the tax is minus. That means the tax will be a deduction from the salary. And also the cooperative will also be deducted. So the formula here we are going to use, we are going to put equals to, and then we write sum. After putting sum, we'll put open brackets. Okay. Then we are going to look into the cell. What number is the cell? the first one that's for john we are going to use john for the reference then we'll drag the other answers okay so what we are going to do here john is e and e is under what five okay okay the number here is what e5 because look at the e here coming down again is under the fifth row so that means we will use e5 okay so here is e5 and then since here here and here they are very close then we use the range formula that's we use column or semicolon so after putting that 
then we go to where does it stop okay it's going to stop on g5 then we write g5 here okay we write g5 here all right after writing g5 then we close the bracket okay after closing the bracket then we put minus because the tax is minus the tax is minus and also the cooperative is minus so we are going to make minus of them the tax is under h5 then we write h5 then also minus the next one is i5 that's where the cooperative is that's i5 we put i5 here after putting it if we are done we press enter so you can see we have gotten our answer then for you to find these other ones under it you don't have to put the formula again all what you will do you come here when it's showing your dark plus like this okay this type of dark plus then you drag it downwards to where you want it to stop okay then you stop there and then you release your hand after you release your hand from the dragging then you see all the answers we appear so thank you for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe this channel and also smash on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a video like this youtube will send you notification thank you